<laughs> well, I can feel it. I can really feel it. You can probably hear it as well. It really makes me wonder. So a while back when we dewinterized the trailer at the beginning of this year to go to the Tampa show, uh, we had a lot of water issues. So a couple of those things were, one was the outdoor shower. Um, I obviously didn't winterize it correctly and the back of it cr cracked. Um, and so on our way to, to Tampa, we were actually on the road traveling down over two, two days. The water just leaked out everywhere. Um, and so we had a right mission to try and find the right part. Thank you, Camping World, for, uh, for helping us out there. We got that resolved. That evening we went to have a shower. The back of the shower head was leaking. So that actually split the entire shower head, which was weird. Um, so we have replaced that. A video coming up on that soon. But one thing that really confused me is after those things happened, I thought I should probably check the water heater. So that is... Uh, placed underneath the wardrobe in the bedroom. So I took all the drawers out and had a look down there and it was wet. Um, I was very concerned. We turned the water back on. I could not find where the water leak was coming from. Um, anyway, after a whole bunch of uh, experimenting, I thought it was maybe coming back from, it looked like it was coming from the back of the shower, which backs onto this wardrobe. Um, and so I figured, well, maybe it was a shower pipes going up into the shower, but it didn't happen all the time. Every time we had a shower, I would check underneath there. I had a water leak sensor under here. Didn't get anything. Again, our Smart Things video that we did a few weeks ago, um, I moved the water sensor from the basement into here so that I could tell exactly when it was leaking. <laughs> then what happened? <laughs> we were in Tampa. I emptied the black tanks. I did the black tank flush. The water leak sensor told me there was a leak. So. I was a bit confused as to why the black tank flush comes into here. I just assumed it went straight from our water bay, which is under where I'm stood, across over here, directly into the black tank. Apparently it doesn't. So when I had a look under here, I could see that there was a blue pipe leading up to the back of the shower, a red pipe leading up to the back of the shower, and two black pipes. Now I had no idea why the black tank flush would go all the way up to the back of the shower. So. What we're going to do today, I'm almost convinced that's the issue. It's those pipes going up there. And after a bit of research, I think there is a backflow pre preventer uh, up behind the shower unit, which is weird to me. I don't know why it needs to be that high, but uh, apparently that's what it is. So we're going to take the shower control unit off and see what's behind there and see if I can find any obvious leaks in there. All right, so this is the shower control unit. That's lucky there's no water in there because I just turned it on. So what I need to do is I need to break the seal around here. This is siliconed around, so I need to break the seal off. It's held on with four screws and I'm gonna see what's behind it, so. So I've pulled this off. Uh, I've taken the, there is the blue pipe and the red pipe, obviously hot and cold. I've disconnected those from the back of the shower unit. Now I need to put that somewhere out of the way. And straight away I can see it is, this is the backflow preventer for the black tank flush. So there is an in and an out. Um, I'm almost certain this is where it's leaking from. Um, I know these have issues um, with a lot of things, so I'm, luckily, I bought a new one, <laughs> just for this occasion. Um, so I did a bit of research, I actually bought this, there was two when I searched on Amazon. Uh, there is a Camco one, which is much cheaper, and then there's this one, which is a B&B &B one. Um, and uh, I know that this is uh, much better quality, apparently, and everyone said to buy this. I Luckily, I bought it, and I can already see that it's, a, it's the right model. Um, it is the model 571 from B&B &B, uh, for RV use only. So this is pretty easy. I'm just going to undo two of these things, and I'm going to put this on. It's just two screws. No big deal. I shall do that, and then see you in one moment. Okay, 
easy peasy. In fact, the hardest thing about all of this is going to be cleaning up the silicon around the shower thing and redoing that. But uh, that was really easy just to screw on. I think, Natalie, although we are near a water source um, and not near a septic, I do want to try this because I don't want to re-silicon this on if it wasn't actually this. Love these quick release things, love them. Okay, right, this is in. I'm gonna turn it on, we should be able to hear it. Okay, I hear it going. I'm gonna go inside and check. Well, I can feel it, I can really feel it. You can probably hear it as well. There are no leaks. Nothing at all, no leaks. Okay, that's cool. And now I'm gonna go check under the cabinet. Sorry, not great light. So I could actually see there was a pool of water down here and it was coming down these pipes here and there is nothing. Fantastic. Woohoo! Well, that's easy. Right, well that was very easy. Uh, I'm happy with that. So yeah, the hardest part about that, I think the backflow preventer was about $30. I will link to that below. I'm pretty sure they're all the same in all the RVs. I only had two options, like I said, the Camco one, which was cheaper, and then this one, uh, B&B one, uh, which is a bit more expensive, but I wanted a like-for-like -like replacement. So yeah, the hardest thing was uh, actually just putting the silicon back around the shower, which I'm gonna do in a moment. Um, but yeah, other than that, this was what a six minute job. Job done. Job Ooh. done. Jobs <laughs> are good. So interesting fact, snap pads now have merch. Yay. This is cool. This is a, I always wear my Adidas hat. I also have a Nike hat um, and a Coca-Cola one that I'm not wearing because of some political reasons, which is nothing to do with why I bought the hat, by the way. <laughs> I bought it just because I liked it. Um, and yeah, so now I have a snap pads hat. Nice. Also got some t-shirts, which is cool. Yes. Great quality. Great hat. Love it. Go check out their merch. Thank you, Snap Pads. <laughs> also, fun fact: British people say Adidas, not Adidas. We well, say Adidas and Nike. Yeah. So uh, you're gonna you're gonna get ripped for that one. <laughs> well, yeah. the thing is, uh, I've spoken to people who work for Adidas. And actually, they do say Adidas. Ah. It's a German company, and the name is Adidas. But if I say that here, people so is it Nike me. or Nike? I don't know. I think it's Nike. I got a funny feeling that's an American brand, and the Americans say Nike. So yeah, okay. I think we got it wrong calling it Nike. So yeah, Nike or Nike, Adidas, Adidas. What do you think? <laughs> See you next week. <laughs>